Hello guys, Brownies are here, and today we are going to be finishing up the block tutorial. Just real quickly, I am sorry about the abrupt ending in last video. My, my screen recorder completely ran out of time. But anyway, today I will be doing the sensing and operators blocks. Um, I don't know much about the more tutorial, the more blocks tab, so if you want to learn more about it, I would look into some projects and try to figure out how they work. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start with the sensing blocks. This block right here asks any question you want it. So, say I want to ask who's ever viewing the project, how are you? And then I put a question mark. So, then when this gets activated, it will show the question and then it will give you a box to answer. And that's what this is. You can either show it or you can hide it. But and you and you can use a block to activate something else. So I'm going to just respond good because that's how I'm feeling. And then it takes in my answer as you can as you can see right here. Now this these four blocks indicate when something what indicates so most okay it's hard to describe these but these blocks are right here can fit in these hex hexagonal is that even a word sections so such as if key space is pressed then something would happen or if mouse down if so if you you click something will happen now these ones are a little bit more complicated because they involve the operators blocks, which we will be doing next. So I'll go back, come back to these. This, this stuff right here is something very useful, I think. So the timer, you can show it, and that I believe that is how long the project has been going. Reset timer, and all that fun stuff. So that's the timer blocks. The current minute, it will show you somewhere what the exactly the minute is. So right now is the 56th minute. So if I show it, it says 56. But there are also other things that you can do. You can do the current year, the current month, the current date, the current day of the week, hour, we already looked at the minute, and the current second. So let's do current date. Says 12, and it is J July 12th. 
that I'm recording this. So, there's that. Day Sense 2000, I think, is very useful, but also hard to use. I think it's very useful for advent calendars and countdowns and such. But it's really hard to use because you have to calculate how many days it's been since 2000. And you use that block with the operator blocks. The username is good for making thumbnails on your project like some project so instead of just having it where you last left off you have a sprite which is or backdrop called the thumbnail it's usually a sprite and then if then you use a username block with one of the operation operators blocks so this one so just like this and this is a hexagon so you will put it in this and then so my username is Barn Owl Niza. So it the username block it checks what the username is. And then so if the username is Barn Owl Niza, so me, it will do a certain thing, such as create the thumbnail. That is all for the sensing blocks. Now Let's get on to the operator blocks. Let's go. Okay, so now we are going to be doing the operator blocks. I love these because they will be good for using for the operator blocks. So these blocks that I'm pulling out right now are the mathematical blocks. So they're, they use math and all that fun stuff. I've already shown you this one. It's the equal one. This is less than and this is greater to greater than. These are all hexagons so they can go in these blocks and for uh, an example if mouse x is less than let's see zero how about then if you put it in one of the control blocks that so one of these blocks you can do something with it The greater than block, it works exactly the same as the less than block, except it's greater than. Equal works the same as the less than and greater than blocks, except it's equal, so that's fun. And then these blocks can be put in this or any of these and for we could do if mouse X plus mouse Y and then we could put this into here equals 1000 that wouldn't be possible but it's an example but this can be get very complicated and I am curious to see because I haven't tried this yet 
Yeah, so as you can see, this can get extremely complicated. And all of the round blocks pretty much work the same. So, now we have the and, or, and not blocks. So, I am a Minecraft player and I do some redstone. And if you also play Minecraft, you can relate to this. And you do redstone. This is like an and gate, an or gate, and a not gate. So, the and gate, well, the and block, is when, just looking, okay, so, when key space is pressed, and mouse down, then something will happen, just like an and gate in Minecraft, when both are active. Or not active. Now the OR gate, if one is active but the other isn't, that's fine. And it's the same with the OR block. So if it's mouse down or key space pressed, it will still do what it needs to do. Now the NOT block the NOT block it so if key space is NOT pressed then in a certain amount of time so example takes my scratch story mode well, not mine, but my episode, my first episode. I had to press Q very rapidly, and if I didn't, I would die. That was done using the NOT block. So, now we have these. Which, I honestly don't know much about. I think, yeah, that just says, hello world. And then, I get, it might, I guess you could use this as, for the ABCs, but I don't know why you would want to do that. And then, this is how long the word is. I have no idea what these do. So, that wraps up my tutorial. Thank you for watching. And have a great rest of the day. Or, have a great night.